I'm a dying taggart in a brave new world Gonna free this town If you didn't know about me already Well you know it with now Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Objectivist Girl if you haven't met me already. And if you haven't checked it out, this week I posted a video where Jeffrey Tucker and I interviewed. So I hope you guys will go check that out and support me. Because the more views that it gets, the more popular it'll get on YouTube when people search for Jeffrey Tucker. Also behind me you're going to see a new photo. So this is a beautiful photo done by Ariel Aguilar. And he is an amazing artist. He'll print any photo that you like out on this beautiful 3D canvas. And I hope you guys will check him out. There's a link to him on my website. So anyway, guys, today we're going to talk about love. Isn't that exciting? Love. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, guys, we are going to talk about objectivist love and what objectivism has to say about love. So let's go ahead and get started. Romantic love, in the full sense of the term, is an emotion possible only to the man or woman of unbreached self-esteem. It is his response to his own highest values and the person of another, an integrated response of mind and body, of love and sexual desire. Such a man or woman is incapable of experiencing a sexual desire divorced from spiritual values, says Ayn Rand. So Ayn Rand's view of love is readily portrayed in Anthem and in all of her other novels. So it is something that I hold very near and dear to my heart, obviously. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. It's a poor joke. But love goes directly into the why and how rule. So why do I love them and how do I know it? The answer should reflect my highest values. So Ayn Rand says, to love is to value. Only a rationally selfish man of self-esteem is capable of love because he's the only man capable of holding a firm, constant, uncompromising, unbetrayed values. The man who does not value himself cannot value anything or anyone. So the first part of love is the I. In Anthem, it is revealed to us a society without an I, and people suffer from a personal identity. So we see Liberty try to attempt to tell Equality that she loves him, but she becomes frustrated because all she knows how to say is, we love you, when she really means, I love you. This is symbolic because Liberty has lived in this collectivist society so long that she doesn't really know herself. So she's incapable of expressing her values to equality in order to be able to say the I. If you don't have any sense of self, you can't give someone your love because it's not an honor, because you can't make a rational decision about who to love, because you have no value of your own to judge someone else's values. When Liberty finds the word I symbolically in the book, this is meant to say that she now knows her values and who she is and is able to express it to equality in this beautiful way by saying I. This is saying, our values are the same, and I honor you for having the same values, and you have something that I want to embody in myself, and I think you are amazing. This is true love. This is true honor. So we're also going to talk about what it means to have a Christian view of love, which is to love everyone. To love everyone is to negate your love for other people. You must choose wisely who you love. Love is a statement of honor from another person. So it's not honoring someone if you love everyone indiscriminately. So it's only to be given to those who you respect and admire and you want to have an impact on who you are. If I love everyone, then I'm not doing myself justice because I'm not honoring my own life by filling it with people who can make me a better person. You should look for partners who have aspects of their personality or life that you want to reflect in yourself. I choose partners who are patient and calm because those are qualities that I have been working on for a very long time. My partners are meant to inspire me and vice versa. Rand believed that love was a matter of the mind, not of the heart. She believed that one decides to love someone if they choose properly, this will be the greatest reward of their lives. No aspect of human existence needs and deserves the power of conscious philosophy so desperately as love. This is someone you are choosing to be in your life because of the way they will affect you.
you should choose someone that mirrors your ethical system and inspires you to be greater every day. The power of love is called upon to verify and support an emotional appraisal. It is a conscious integration of reason and emotion of mind and values. Ayn Rand says that one who loves creates the style of their soul. Do you want just anyone affecting your soul? Or would you prefer to have certain people who deserve your love and your respect and your honor affecting it? I know I would rather have the latter. Love selfishly and you'll be rewarded with constant growth and happiness. So will your partner. To say, I love you, one must first know how to say the I. And that's a quote from The Fountainhead, which we'll be doing, doing further down the road. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video about love and I hope you learned something. So what is a value that you would like portrayed in a partner that you're with? Tell me in the comment section below. Also, I hope you'll check out my blog. Um, I've also included links to my Facebook, Twitter, and my song Shrug, so you can check out the rest of that. You heard that at the beginning of this video. And I hope you'll also check out my interview with Jeffrey Tucker. So guys, we're getting really close to 400 likes, which is really exciting. And I really appreciate all of the support that you guys have given me. I'm also trying to reach out to more artists. So you're going to see in my sponsors page, which I'm going to start putting a link to on my videos from now on. There are artists that I'm going to be supporting that I hope will support me in return. And if you have some art or self-expression that you would like me to show to the public or sell to the public for you, please get a hold of me. Also, guys, I noticed that you're liking the Facebook page, which is awesome. But also make sure that you click the subscribe button for my channel and subscribe to my channel so that you can get notifications the minute that I post a new video. And don't forget to donate. There will be a link to my Bitcoin afterwards. So remember, guys, value exchange. If you're getting value out of these videos and you're learning stuff, make sure that you donate Bitcoin so that I'm able to enhance my videos and grow my channel. So again, guys, remember, knowledge is not for all men, but for those who seek it. So keep seeking.